What is going on guys, Crobat for the win here today with Mount Silver Battles. Today, bringing you a Wi-Fi battle. I really don't remember who it was against, I guess Willy. It was on one of my streams a while ago, but I brought a Magikarp, so I think you guys are going to like it. My team's pretty awesome over there. It even has a Lady in, which I actually lead off with. He leads off with a Golbat, which is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go for the U-turn, even Choice Bandit. It does negligible damage. I'm going to have to switch out into Empoleon, because I thought maybe a Toxic, maybe a Brave Bird, something like that would be going my way. He just goes for the Taunt, which is okay, actually. I don't mind that too much. Empoleon has some nice attacks it can definitely use. The Golbat just U-turns out of there. As he goes into Ferrothorn, which I just proceed to Scald. It does an okay-ish amount because of a crit. I don't get the burn. The burn would have been nice. Not really a too big of a deal. I'm not going to complain too much. The Ferrothorn is going to recover with leftovers. That's fine. I'm going to withdraw because I really don't want Ferrothorn in there. I'm going to go into Ladian because it carries Choice Banded, Iron Fist Drain Punch, nope, Thunder Wave. That's a thing. So now my Ladian is essentially useless, and if he sets Stealth Rocks up, it's even more useless. I actually still have to beat the Ferrothorn, but I get Parax. So that's kind of the worst thing that could have happened. That Stealth Rocks, now Ladian's just completely useless now. I'm going to keep trying to go for Drain Punch. He actually switches out. He's going to go into Cure and Black. So I'm not going to get a bad amount of damage off on this thing with a, drain, a Choice Banded Iron Fist Drain Punch. It's going to do about 49%, which is not too bad considering Lady Anne is awful. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out already, on my channel, I like to use unorthodox things. Uh, standard OU just gets really boring. So I like using Lady Anne's and Magikarps and Floatzels and things like that. So I guess if you'd like that, don't hesitate to subscribe. I'm going to go into Ferrothorn now. Now, this is not your conventional Ferrothorn by any means whatsoever. He goes into Arcanine, which is perfectly fine. Intimidate, completely irrelevant, because this is Specs Ferrothorn. It's probably its worst set ever, but I like Specs Ferrothorn. It's one of my favorite sets, because it's so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I go into Polytoad to hopefully reduce his Flare Blitz damage. That is perfectly fine, because he's actually going to go for the Will Wisp and miss. That's okay. Politoed wouldn't have minded being Will Wisped anyways. He now decides to go into Ferrothorn, so I just go for the Rain Boosted Scald. It's gonna do not very much, but I get the burn this time. I'm pretty happy about that. Politoed is sitting at almost full health here, which is excellent actually. He's sitting at about maybe 60% health. I'm gonna have to switch out because really I still don't want to take a Power Whip. I'm gonna go into Empoleon because I thought Empoleon could definitely take anything this thing wants to go for. He actually does go for the Thunder Wave. That's fine. Empoleon isn't really that fast. It's not running any races anytime soon. It's definitely not running a marathon. It's fine being paralyzed. As long as it doesn't get parahacks like Ladian did. Alrighty, so Ferrothorn slowly being withered down. He just goes for the Leech Seed. He actually does outspeed, which is kind of interesting, I guess. I just set up the Stealth Rocks because he has a couple things that are weak to it on his team. I figure, why not? I'm kind of in a stalemate right now anyways. I may as well. I really don't care that he set up the Leech Seed because I'll just end up switching out. Not really too big of a deal. Polion's still doing okay here. 95% health. While that Ferrothorn is going to, once I switch out the Leech Seed, slowly going to be withered down. I'm going to go into Politoed again, just so I can get rid of that Leech Seed. Like I said, he does go for the Power Whip. Doesn't do much. Does about 50. That's fine. I didn't think he would go for the Power Whip there, but really, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. I'd like to keep Politoed around, because I don't need it to take two more Power Whips. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go back into Empoleon, this time without the Leech Seed. Things are a lot better for Empoleon now. I did predict the Thunder Wave, so that, that worked out quite well. Okay, Ferrothorn is still just chilling. It's getting to a little bit of a stall fest, but we are definitely going to be breaking this stall pretty soon because he's gonna go for a Leech Seed, and I am going to go for a Roar. See, I'm good at breaking stall. I can do that. He gets ends up going into Golbat. Perfectly fine. It's gonna take some Stealth Rock damage. Can't complain about that. I'll take that any day of the week. I wish I had Defog in this Empoleon, but like I think you just saw, this Empoleon is my Roar Empoleon not my Defog Empoleon, is what it is. He just goes for the U-turn, which is fine, does negligible damage, and I feel like I should definitely go for the, uh, the what's it called, uh, the Scald here, just because I'd like to maybe get a burn on that Golbat, it's rain boosted. He just going to Ferrothorn, that's fine. It's at a low amount of health, it's at about 40%, burn's gonna chip 12% off. 
you know, 12% off your next purchase to Joseph A. Bank or something like that. You know, all those commercials you see on TV. They're going to take 12% off. Like, like that Ferrothorn right there. 12%. I'm switching out because Empoleon doesn't really need to stay in it. I don't want to create a stall fest. I'm going to go into Specs Ferrothorn because I can take Leech Seeds. I don't care if it gets paralyzed. I know it can take a Power Whip. It just does. It takes 7 damage. Exactly 7 and gets iron barbs off so there's your 12 percent discount again from iron barbs or whatever it is and that ferrothorn's only 30 percent i'm gonna switch out because i thought maybe he would save the ferrothorn maybe i know i'm just wearing it down at this point he just goes for the thunder wave that works out because empoleon easily takes that burn is going to chip another sizable percentage off of ferrothorn Wow, you're getting a lot of savings here. I really suggest you go to Joseph A. Bank or some store like that after this because there's a lot of percentages here. I go back into Ferrothorn. There's no reason not to. I know for certain that I can take this thing out now. Unfortunately, he predicts that, which is a good play in his part, and gets the pair of hacks. That's, it is what it is. Ferrothorn, I know, is still really slow, so as long as I don't get that 25% there, it works out. He over predicts and goes for the Thunder Wave, thinking I was gonna switch. But I just go for the Hidden Power Ice, because I know it would take Ferrothorn Dam. And that worked out quite well, actually. He goes into Alakazam, which I don't want to deal with because it has Focus Blast. I'm going to go into Politoed to set up the rain for the last time in this match, because it's going to die to an obvious Focus Blast. Focus Blast is going to KO. Poor Politoed. It uh, did what it did, I guess. I'm going to go into Oh Captain, My Captain, which is obviously poem which is a pretty cool one actually I'm gonna go for the crunch because it's an azumarill and its crunch is really powerful the thing is this thing's a beast it's underrated it has swift swim and everything so it's gonna outspeed everything that he has on his team everything left on his team in the rain he goes into Arcanine now after that Alakazam goes down I know he got the intimidate but I figure I could just go for the waterfall not really a big deal that's gonna KO easily he does get rocky helmet though which is whoa I did not expect that, but that's kind of interesting. Life Orb Recoil and Rocky Helmet, I'm at about half health. He goes into Karen Black. I really don't have a safe switch, so what I'm going to do is just go for some crunches. I'm just going to get some damage off. Hopefully, I was hoping to hit KO, but not quite. He just goes for the Rock Slide anyways, predicting my switch. That's fine. Uh, Floatzel goes down. It is what it is. It did its job. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to go now into the Specs Ferrothorn, because I know it can take anything from Kieran Black and I can go for any move. He just goes for the Outrage I think to get the most damage possible. It does an okay-ish amount. Iron Barbs kicks in. I get Pair Hacks which is lame because I definitely could have KO'd that Kieran Black right there. You guys could have seen Specs Ferrothorn get another KO. And that Outrage I think I should can live with a little bit. I live with two which is amazing. And Specs Ferrothorn is gonna get its second KO this match with a Flash Cannon. Nothing is cooler than that. On Mount Silver Battles, have you ever, ever seen a Specs Ferrothorn, or even a Magikarp used competitively in a Wi-Fi battle? Well, watch this pincer. It's gonna go for the quick attack, get the Moxie boost. I have one chance to live. After the Iron Barbs and the Stealth Rocks, that thing is sitting at about 60%. I know a Magikarp, Choice Specs, Hydro Pump, in the rain, does 60 to 70-ish percent to a Mega Pincer. So Magikarp, this is the one time you can be useful. Hit a Hydro Pump and I win this game. I win! I win! No! No, 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 no! Magikarp, you are a failure. You had one chance to win this game. You had the chance of a lifetime to show everyone that you were the most powerful Pokemon in existence. And you failed. So now Mega Pinsir is going to go for an Earthquake on my Empoleon, which is my last Pokemon. I'm going to lose because Magikarp missed a Hydro Pump. Don't use Magikarp, folks. I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, so that's pretty much it for today. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe to Mount Silver Battles. And if you'd like to, check out my channel. Link will be in the description. And there's also a button in the video. So, yeah, that's just about it. Peace out.